In this lesson, we will create the C letter in isometric projection, but it will look like 3D glass effect letter. Exactly, 3D in Figma. And with all these reflections, looks incredible. Let's do that. The method that I'll show you will not include shadow. It, this will be in the in another lesson. And uh, what else? The method that I'll show you in this particular lesson will be manual way to create that. What does it mean manual? That you will be able to create it in absolutely any other tool because we will not use any plugins. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to how to create three letter using plugins. So. First of all, we'll start with letter C. So we'll put it C here. Absolutely, it can be absolutely anything. If you want to create 3D, just type 3, type whatever you want. But <clears throat> because I'm going to make it uh, to show you the technique, uh, you will be able to recreate it further for absolutely any, any other shape. So we created letter C. What we're going to do is Command Shift O to convert it into the shape, rotate it by minus 45 degrees group it and then we'll change the height to 57 73 percent done so we have three not 3d isometric letter c let's change the color of it to something like blue just absolutely anything go and you can choose any other color but because we are going to recreate this one this shape i'm using uh, this blue now select the letter c and using option or alt key move it up S the further you will move it from the previous letter from the previous one um, the bigger the volume the depth you are creating for this c like here it can be really huge like here and then this will be a huge c looks more that will look more like a cylinder cylinder but here we are going with this kind of shape. Now let's change the bottom layer to something darker like this. So we will see that something is on the top, something is at the bottom. Now what I'm going to do, we have the top edge and the bottom one, but we need to create the middle one. To create the middle layer here, like here, for this hamburger, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to copy this one one more time, Command D, and we will duplicate the bottom one, Command D. The very bottom one layer here, we will change the color to something even darker, like this. This will be our shadow for a future version. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select two letters C in the middle. This method will be a little bit like look complicated but because we we're gonna create something really cool that why it takes a little bit time just follow it maybe with a plugin you will love the effect with the plugin but then i'll show you the difference the difference between using the plugin and manual method so i'm selecting <clears throat> these two middle layers and let's move them to the right just so we will see what we what we're gonna do so we're selecting them and moving here here we have top layer we have the layer for the shadow and this will create from these two letters we will create the middle layer so we have two layers what we're going to do we'll first of all combine them together flatten selection or command e i'll i'll use command e boom now we have this one layer this is just one layer but now we'll start creating the depth out of this thing how are we going to do that we will go into the dots mode we will click enter or return now we'll see all the dots and we will remove all the lines and the dots that we don't need and we will keep all the dots and lines and join the new ones that we need to recreate the 3d layer what i'm going to do let me show you what i'm going to do with this one on this example and then i'll show you why i'm not using this method uh, for 3d shapes not 3d shapes for glass effect shapes 
what are we gonna do? We'll create something like this, this. I'll move it here. Done. Shift text. This color. And using pen tool, I'll create the volume on another side here as well. Just using manual methods, we are creating the shape using pen tool. Done. Shift text. Move it to the bottom, change the color. And boom, congratulations, you just created the 3D letter. This will be more than enough for you if you are using just these colors. Now let's combine them, all these shapes together. Command E. And now we can change the color to whatever we want. And basically, you already created 3D letter. Perfect. This looks great. But the problem will be when we will start creating the 3D um, glass effect from that, we will see some really weird things. I'll show you just in a second. But first of all, what you should know that if you want just to create 3D letters without glass effect, this is more than enough. Just create the middle layer and connect the dots so it will replicate the 3D world, 3D nature of this layer. As simple as that. But what if we're gonna change it to glass style effect? How to do this glass effect? First thing that I will do, I'll transform this one. I will add effect, background blur. Effects, background blur. Let's change to 20. We'll start with 20, we're always experimenting. And we will change the opacity of the fill layer to something like 60. And boom, you see? Now we already have this 3D effect. Cool. But also we're gonna apply this 3D effect on this layer as well because we see the background here. So we are copying background, background blue from this layer. If you don't know all these techniques, this lesson is not about these techniques, about background effects and all these things. All these things you can learn from Boost Your Creative and Masterclass. Here we are talking about isometric shapes. So uh, some things I will not explain to save your time. So I copied the style of the background blue effect from that layer and I'll apply it here to this layer. Done, but I'll change the layer opacity to this one. And as you can see, now let me change. As you can see, we have so many weird shapes here, like this one, this one, this one, because all these dots are still here. And Figma doesn't connect them together into one shape that consists of only one, like combine it in the real, real 3D effect. It holds all the dots that you had previously. And it's really, weird that we have all these effects and if we will try to change into something like this or this we will still have these lines that we don't like of course you can remove this effect and maybe this will be enough for you 100 percent enough for you to have the 3d layer effect where only this one replicates the 3d nature of this object but we want to go further and create something really cool right so that's why let's do that this right thing, the right way. First of all, I'll remove the middle layer from here. I will keep this background blue for this layer, but let's create the middle layer the right way. So we combine two shapes together, two C's, the top and the bottom, go into the dots mode and remove everything, everything that is inside that doesn't reflect the 3D nature like like this layer is in 3D mode, in 3D projection. Maybe it looks complicated, but please follow the steps that I'm um, creating here. This will train your brain to work with more complex shapes. And you will understand that this is not as hard as 
it seems it just takes time a little bit of time and practice so that's why i strongly recommend you to practice so let's select the lines and remove them from everything from here that are not related to our 3d shape the first thing that we will do also we'll create that connect some of the lines so we created line here we created we'll create the line here perfect let's create the connect the dots this one with this not connected with this one and let's create one more connection between this one line and this one done so now we can remove everything that that is not creating oh let's create this connection here as well that is not creating the 3d nature of this shape which means that we need to remove this line we don't need this one anymore this one this will remove everything that is in the middle yes like that we don't need this one anymore so we are removing all these lines that not creating the 3d layer do we need this line actually we the only thing that we need here is we create the dot here and everything else we can remove like this this these two shapes and these two even three and tada congratulations now we have this layer and but as you can see we don't have fill layer don't be afraid if you don't see the anything just add fill layer and now we have fill layer here now we can change the color to something else maybe something like this and now let's move it inside in the middle of our shapes here we just need to find the right position and boom something like this yes so now we have this layer this one and we have layer at the bottom which is dark one what are we gonna do this will be our shadow which means that we'll create, make it a little bit darker but this one will be our bottom layer this our top we already have back blue effect background blue effect here let's apply background blue effect on this layer let's copy it from the top one command c select command c select command v and let's change to 50. and boom congratulations now you have real 3d letter effect exactly as we have here the only difference is in colors so you can play with colors a little bit you can play with the bottom color here you will see how it will change the nature of the shape you see how it's changing how it's changing here you can go with different colors that will be inside of your shape but in this case the best color is something here perfect and now if you want to create this stroke just simply add stroke for this layer and change it to inside and make it for example white and also you can change the opacity to something smaller like this or uh, as i created for example for this 3d and in my opinion this looks even better remove the stroke and add inner shadow but make it minus one minus one zero white color and 100 percent opacity and this is what we have 3d um, glass effect layer 
you can also make the inner shadow minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 so it will be thinner like this one and let's change the color a little bit like make it sixty maybe perfect see what we just created let's make it k let's make it bigger and now we have 3d effect here but this one has shadow the only difference with between these two layers is that this one has shadow and you already can create this shadow from the layer that we already created 100 percent and move it a little bit down like this one or i will see you in not the next one the next after the next one lesson and i'll show you how to create this shadow that goes down inside of it but at least you know exactly how to create how to create 3d glass effect layer just play with colors and that's it see you in the next lesson